Hi, my name is Zach Harkness, and I'm the team leader of the Shoreline Management Program here at Hartwell Lake. As you can see, Hartwell is a huge lake straddling the border of Georgia and South Carolina, with 56,000 acres of water, 962 miles of shoreline, almost 11,000 docks, and 840 miles of boundary lines. The lake feels like an inland sea and has lots of coves where people have built thousands of homes adjoining core property. These homeowners have almost unfettered access to boating, swimming, fishing, kayaking, and many other sports. To keep the lake pristine for recreation and drinking water, the Corps of Engineers enforces some very specific regulations that spell out the way these residents can improve the shoreline to, pro to provide even more access to the lake. Hartwell hosts more than 10 million visitors annually, so there are a lot of competing demands on our lake and the surrounding lands. With all these property boundaries along our public lands, we need to provide a balance between private exclusive use by individual property owners with the needs for public use of federal lands. We also provide for long-term resource protection. This balance starts with a strong shoreline management program that provides permits for various facilities and activities along federal lands. In this video, we are going to cover many of the details of our shoreline management program and the ways you can obtain permits for various projects on public land. All the provisions can be found in our shoreline management plan, which you can pick up at our office or view online. You can also call our office to learn more or to talk with the ranger in charge of your area. Our video is going to show you many of the provisions for commonly permitted improvements, including boat docks, walkways, selective cutting and removal of understory vegetation, water lines, light and power poles, shoreline stabilization. We will also discuss the orange markings on the trees located on or near the boundary line between your property and public land. The use of public land and water is a privilege and homeowners whose properties fringe core lands are responsible for understanding what they can and cannot do on these lands. One of our goals is to, take, is to keep these public lands as natural as possible and the Shoreline Management Plan helps us balance that goal with your desire to have access to the lake. We are the stewards of the land and we take this role seriously. We will work with you to help you obtain permits to make certain modifications, but we want to remind you that we monitor carefully for any changes to public lands. If you make changes to public lands without a permit, we will find out and the penalties can lead up to restitution, punitive fines, and revocation of your shoreline privileges. This could mean the loss of your boat dock permit. So if you have any questions about anything you want to do on public land, please call us. And remember, be safe on the lake. When you go out, whether you are swimming or on a boat, please be sure to wear your life jacket. To administer the, sh the permit program here on Lake Hartwell, the public property is divided into three separate zoning allocations. This is a, a zoning map located at our resource office down at the visitor center on Highway 29. It is divided here with I-85. You got the Tugaloo River and the Seneca River, which join to form the Savannah River. Up here we have Clemson University and 123. The first zone of the zoning allocations is our green zone, which is limited development. It makes up about 50% of the zoning around Lake Harwell. In, this zone, in the limited development zoning, we allow for boat dock facilities, walkways, electrical facilities and utilities, and some limited underbrushing. The second zoning allocation is protected land, commonly referred to as yellow zone. In the yellow zone, we only allow limited underbrushing with no facilities. And the third zoning is red zones, which is known as public, um, it's public recreation zones. And we don't allow any facilities, any underbrush cutting. Uh, it's just strictly nat natural areas. The Lake Hartwell uh, shoreline allocation map is the most liberal of the zoning maps of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers lake projects nationwide. 
The current allocations uh, have no plans for any changes. We're at a location here which shows a series of the markings. Each of these markings represents a different meaning for the line. The tree to the right of me with the three horizontal slashes in one vertical always references a corner monument. The trees are always painted foot facing the corner monument, um, which could be either a concrete monument such as we have here or an iron pen set in the ground and painted orange. The tree to the right of me here is a witness tree. It has two horizontal slashes. This tree tells me that the line goes anywhere from zero to 30 inches out on the side of the tree that is painted. The paint is always facing the boundary line. Just down the line here we see a tree with two horizontal slashes and one vertical slash. That is a center line tree. The paint marks on that tree tell me that the line goes through the center of that tree.